Treehouse of Horror 4 is the fifth episode of the fifth season of The Simpsons and obviously this is the fourth Halloween based Simpsons episode and me being a big fan of spooky animation I'm a big fan of Treehouse of Horrors but so far I'd say I loved two of them and kind of only liked one of them. With the fourth one I think it's probably one of the strongest yet. I'm not going to go into too much spoilery detail about the three segments but I will tell you just a little bit about them and I think these three are three of the most memorable ones. They're very unique, each of them in turn and I really thoroughly enjoyed them. The episode is directed by David Silverman and the first segment involves Homer selling his soul to the devil in exchange for a donut and there are some fabulous bits of animation. I don't want to spoil too much but I will say Homer's head. Just pay attention to Homer's head and also the feeding of the donuts. I thought they were both done beautifully. And it's a really, really lovely narrative that I really thoroughly enjoyed. The second one I feel like took up more time than I would have liked and it involves a gremlin and the school bus and a little bit of the boy who cried wolf is at play here as well. Um, this gremlin, the design of it, I think is quite creepy and it does work very well. Visually it's very effective. It's not the creepiest treehouse of horror though. It's very tame compared to some of the other ones. It's certainly of the three I feel like it's probably the most underdeveloped. It's not bad but of the three it's the one that I would rank the lowest. I think the third one is the one that I rank highest out of the three of them and that's where they are all at Mr Burns's house and they realise that Mr Burns is not quite what he says he is or not quite what people think he is and I won't say any more than that but I love it and one of my favourite bits in the whole thing and it's for what I don't know why exactly but one of my favourite things from any episode is where Bart is running up the stairs and he sees a lever or a switch and he cannot resist the temptation of pressing it uh, and, and what happens immediately after that I loved and I thought this one worked very well with Mr Burns's character. Treehouse of Horror are not part of the Simpsons continuity to be fair, The Simpsons, they're not great with continuity, but you're not, you know, you're not meant to look into them too deeply anyway. But of all the Treehouse of Horrors, this is the one that they could probably believe throughout. They could keep this as part of the continuity if they really wanted and it would still work. I really enjoyed Treehouse of Horror 4. It's very spooky, very creepy, very eerie, beautifully animated. Really thoroughly enjoyed this one a lot. Is it my favourite Treehouse of Horror that I've seen? I don't know, the one with the house and the bleeding walls is still one of my all-time favourites. I really adored that one. Was that the first one? That might have been the very first one. Um, or the second one. Either way, Treehouse of Horror 4. Really absolutely fantastic. Definitely a strong, insta strong installment in the Treehouse of Horror series. 